G'day guys, welcome back to Owl's Kitchen. Today I've got a roast chicken I've done, well roast chicken pieces. Just wanna have a look at that there. Look at that, it's beautiful. As I eat it, I'm gonna go over how to make it, how easy it is, and how this is a much better choice than buying roast chicken out. I've got some mashed potato here. So the mashed potato, um, you wanna go 50-50 with uh, milk and butter. So probably about half a cup to about a kilo. Uh, a bit of salt and pepper, butter, uh, get some healthy butter, something, you know, low cholesterol or something. You don't want to be filling yourself with too much butter. I've got some gravy on there. I'll explain the gravy in a second. Let's just have a bite. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That is so good. Now for the chicken. I'm going to turn it this way. So what you want to do with your chicken, and this will work every time, you want to have the best roast chicken whether it be pieces or a whole bird. You wanna line the bottom of your baking tray with red onions. Then you wanna add uh, thyme, fresh thyme preferably, um, but if it's dried thyme, dried thyme. Then you wanna do little, um, this is only for pieces, I'll have to explain a roast, but then you wanna do little slithers of garlic on top of that. You wanna put some chicken stock. Uh, using the bullion cubes, so much more flavor, but I'm a bit lazy, so I buy the like Campbell stock, still just as good. You only want to cover your stock just above the red onions. So you don't want it like a, like you sort of want it like a mini swimming pool. You just want to have the, the chicken stock, just look at that, just covering your red onions. Then you want to put your pieces down in the baking tray. Oh, oh mate, look at that. It's just steam coming off. It absolutely beautiful. So yeah, you want to put your pieces of chicken on top of the red onion, your thyme, and your garlic. Then you want to coat them, I'd say, I would say I'd go for olive oil. Olive oil is probably the best. Just put like a light layer of olive oil over them, over the top of them. Then it's as easy as getting some paprika. This makes probably the best, the best roast chicken um, using paprika, salt and pepper. I personally like smoked paprika. My smoked paprika is absolutely amazing this, uh, on chicken this way. Uh, so salt and pepper, smoked paprika, or paprika. And then you just basically want to pop it in the oven, 180, for about each kilo, an hour. Um, I think it's about 160 fan force, 180 conventional. Can't get that bit of broccoli. And also the trick to getting it as moist and as juicy as this is to baste it. And basting is really easy, even if it's pieces, even if it's not a whole chill. Every 20 minutes, pop open the oven, get a ladle. If you don't have a ladle, use a spoon and just basically scoop up the chicken stock and like put it on top, like sprinkle it on top, tip it on top of your chicken. Your chicken will come out so bloody moist. If you just whack chicken in the oven for an hour, and only put oil on it, it's just gonna burn and it's gonna be dry. Mmm. Mmm. This like totally tastes better than having chicken out. Totally. I'd say it's one of my best dishes, I think. Butter's really, uh, not butter, the gravy's really easy to make. When your chicken comes out up after the end of the hour, if you've got two kilos, comes out after two hours, you'll just need a sift. Sift is like metal cooking utensil that's like got the fine holes you want to drain what the stock the, and the juices that have come out into the chicken you want to drain that through a sift then you're going to have a little pot bigger pot if you want a lot of gravy I don't know depends big family or not have a little pot just melt some butter in the pot I'd say about a tablespoon two tablespoons of butter uh, per three tablespoons of butter I'd add a quarter cup of flour um, any less, probably go a little bit less, so one fourth a cup of flour for probably two tablespoons. But let the butter melt, then put the flour in, wait till it becomes a paste. Um, what can really spice this up, uh, flavor it up I'll say, is putting onion salt in that, in the mixture, in the paste you've created. Once you've done that, add your stock slowly, stirring as you add. Make sure it's like super hot. Now, if you don't have enough stock in your pan, you can just add some more beef or chicken stock. It really doesn't matter. 
preferably when I cook beef, I'll go with beef stock. If I cook chicken, I'll go with chicken stock, which I've done here. And it just goes so well with this, you wouldn't believe. Stir it until it's thick. Um, don't add too much. If it gets, starts to get too runny, you've added too much, and you might have to scrap it and do it again. Um, but if it's too thick, add more stock, you know. Just just be mindful and keep an eye that it's not getting too, uh, too runny. Oh, man. Mmm. 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 This chicken is absolutely divine. So have a look at this. Just look at that. It's just moist, it's juicy. Pretty identical to like a chicken at the supermarket, but it tastes so much better. I mean, mmm. There's very few places I go out to that chicken actually tastes like this. Mmm. 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 Damn. That's so good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, daily uploads on this channel. I try my best. If I miss a day here and there, I'll miss a day here and there. Next upload is probably going to be a takeaway review. I think they're a bit more popular. I'm not sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the next upload should be a takeaway review. So, look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Al's Kitchen, signing out. Peace.